my sir, madam, is a pleasure to meet you. My name is Elizabeth Patricia Walker. I am selling Christmas goodies as a fundraiser for my school. You put out this. Later on, when we sing, we will need the hymn book. Okay.
them on my doorstep when you moved into the neighborhood. Yes, I guess I did. Well, I'm diabetic. <laughs> so, I would appreciate it if you didn't leave poisonous things on my doorstep. Also, some junk mail about some summer cookout or fall festival at some old church. That's junk mail. That belongs in the trash bin, not on my doorstep. Well, I'm sorry about the cookies. I had no idea. Well, so you did. What is it now? Well, my little girl, Lizzie, she was just by here trying to sell some Christmas stuff and... Yes, yes, I remember very vividly. What of it? Well, she said some things that you told her not to listen to anything her teachers told her at, the, at our school. I, I'm sure she was, must have been mistaken. I most certainly did tell her to ignore any brainwashing, hogwash, spoon fed to her at that sorry excuse of a school. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. Well, sir, I am shocked. I can't believe you told my daughter not to listen to anything mm. so I'd appreciate it. You know, if you don't understand our beliefs or agree with it, but at least don't tell her not to listen to a teacher. Well, you'd appreciate that, eh? Well, I'll tell you what I'd appreciate. I'd appreciate if you don't let your little girl trespass on my property selling junk like some vagabond on my porch. I tried telling you it wasn't junk, Mom. I even heard it the time. Norma, the child is back. Bring me another pill. <laughs> on the double. Dr. Fitz, we won't bother you anymore, but of course, anything in the future. Good. I'm a very old and sick and dying man. I would just like a few days of peace and quiet out here. Well, well, we'll pray for you. Well, okay, I'm going to pray for you that God gives you true peace in your life, Doctor. I want to pray too, Mr. Dr. Fitz. I'll tell you what. There is something you can do for me, and that's not pray for me. I don't need your prayers. You know what? Take that little girl out of that sorry excuse of a school. She is a bright one. She does have a lot of potential. See, Mom, I told you he kind of likes me. <laughs> he just looks like a mean old man on the outside. I didn't spend 40 years of my life educating students in molecular biology to stand silently by while children nowadays are taught such superstition and foolishness. Well, I'll tell you what, Doctor. I can't do any of those things that you want me to do, take her out of the school or what have you. But I'm going to pray for you that God will give you the true peace only comes to your gospel, Doctor. I want to pray too, Mr. Dr. Fitz. So you're gonna pray too, eh? Norma, bills! <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Fitz, do you want to come to my Christmas play? Oh, well, I don't think you want to do that. I'm gonna be the star of the show at the top of the manger. I'm gonna sing a beautiful song about Jesus. Jesus again? Jesus! Norma! <laughs> Oh, no. 
us? No, it doesn't. Not under one condition. No Christmas.
Thank you.